shining feeling chipper let's go so it's only about 10 15 miles but i'm going to go to a place i discovered totally by accident to be honest i was walking the dog and i saw a set of steps and a public footpath sign i thought well, what's up there and i was just so incredibly surprised and so blown away by it that i thought i'd go back with my camera so let's go So obviously since the coronavirus outbreak we've been encouraged to stay home which is more or less exactly what we have been doing um, and one of the things it allows you to do is to find the beauty in the area that you live of course uh, and that's exactly what I did in this particular spot so I was walking the dog and just happened across two different paths just wandered down to see what there was and I found three incredible places to photograph so I'm going to leave the best till last because I'm hoping for the sun to go down and give us some kind of colour in the sky and it sets um, just behind one of the prominent viewpoints so hopefully that will make that a hell of a lot prettier but there are two locations so one is just in this field behind me and then the other one is just to the other side of it so all three really are within half a mile of each other and all probably about 10-15 minutes from my home so here we go So that's location number one. So when I was scouting this out, I couldn't help notice that the, I mean, they're obviously man planted or they're not natural, are they? In, in a straight line like that. So when I spotted them against the sky backdrop, uh, and then there's a, there's a wheat field just here. So to try and make, to try and get a composition out of it all and to make it interesting, there are um, obviously tractor tracks and they lead right up to the trees. Uh, and the only other thing, so we've got foreground interest with the wheat and the tractor tracks going up to the trees in the backdrop of which there are a set in the middle and then there are two little ones to either side and then all we needed was some clouds and according to the app today around this time of day there there are supposed to be clouds in the sky and there actually are so we've got all the makings of a perfect composition obviously it's not going to go red because i need to be over at the third location for this one but uh, i'm going to do this one first and see if we can do it some justice Go to the second one and then go back. So as is quite often when you're scouting a location out, when I actually get here and line up to take the shot on my camera, you're too low down, so you can't actually see the bottom of the trees. However, I did bring my drone, so I'm far enough away from the footpath. Um, I should be able to get it in the air shoot down and then you'll be able to see those lines a lot more prominent and leading off the tree so i'll do one with the camera but i don't think it's going to do this location justice and then i'll get the drone in the air <laughs> Same. 
so that was location one so from the ground with the phone with sorry with my phone so on the ground with my camera i did actually manage to get a little bit up without trotting on any crops just so i could get the tractor line is leading forward and then i flew the drone over to shoot downwards and the problem with that was there were two bald patches in the field so i had to actually drop the drone down anyway um, but obviously it was still it was still a lot higher than i could go with my camera so i'll compare those two and see which one is the best now the second location is just here and you might actually be able to hear it so we're going to go down here and we're going to line up a shot for this one now this is a very very pretty place but as we know it's not always pretty pretty places that make the best photographs so we've got to try and make it interesting in some way So this is the River Severn and I didn't, I've been here many many years but I didn't actually know there was this uh, ford or I don't really know what to call it really but a cascade certainly don't know if it's here I'm not sure if it's man-made but if you look the River Severn just behind it is, is probably five feet higher so it drops down over there it looks fairly natural to be honest but uh, anyway so that's what we're going to photograph the Severn as you will know or may know is tidal it looks like it's just been in because the mud is sopping wet so I've got no danger of going into the water however I have got a very good danger of falling on my butt because this mud is minging so well let's get over there so for me these falls are quite dramatic but if I'm thinking about it if I'm thinking about it from an art perspective it's just a waterfall so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a selfie because obviously I'm the only person that's here and I'm going to line it up with me sitting on the corner looking out over the falls so you've got me as the interest then we've got the falls going out so they're kind of a leading line in themselves but also the main object and then the water behind it is fairly dull and boring there may be some reflection in it so we may have some background interest as well but that's the idea and I'm going to do it um, so I'm going to try different exposures to see how I like the water so whether I like it more lively or whether I want to make it more silky obviously if I do it for something like five seconds eight seconds something like that then I've got to sit still as well so let's go and see while I'm over there I won't be recording anything because you won't be able to hear me anyway so we'll take the shots and I'll come back Literally 30 yards across the road is location number three. Let's go and have a look.
absolutely stunning location just in the middle of nowhere if you bear in mind the river Severn is over there and down probably 50 feet so you come up steps and you find this lake it's really really pretty there is a church I think that's St Giles Church in the background uh, and there are irises in the foreground there's an island in the middle and there are also water birds, ducks, swans as well. So this is going to be the location for this evening, hopefully for a sunset, sunset shot. Um, but if not, I'll be taking some photographs anyway. So my aim is to make this an interesting composition. It's to have foreground and where possible we'll get some irises in the front. Um, and then mid-ground is probably going to be island reflection hopefully some water birds of some kind and then there's a reflection of the church and then the church and then the sky so that should make for a very interesting image and uh, like I said not a snapshot at all just, just something that something that's taken time to compose and will be worthwhile keeping hopefully we'll stick on the wall so I'm just gonna wander around and try and find that perfect spot so like I said I want irises I want reflections water birds of a can church uh, and hopefully a really nice sky So the problem seems to be with this lake is that up one end, so up, uh, if that's west, and then I guess it's up the southern end, we've got the water birds, but we've also got a load of pond scum growing on the top, which is not very attractive and also blocks the reflection. Uh, and the second thing is you can barely see the church, so you can just see it poking through past the tree. So the prettiest area is at the north end. Uh, and that's obviously where you've got the light as well, so it's quite dark here. So, back down that end. So as is quite often the way the sunset was a bit of a bust but I think I got some fairly decent shots anyway so I've got to process those and see what comes out. Now if I have got some good shots then I will end the vlog here and thank you very much for watching remember to give a comment or give me a thumbs up or subscribe even. If I haven't got a decent shot then rather than put up some crap I will come back because like I said it's only 10-15 minutes walk from sorry drive from my house so I'll either come back in the morning and take, try and take some sunrise shots with the sun in a better position or I'll come back for another sunset. Anyway, till next time.